What if I record every day of my life? And what if I recreate your makeup look? So yes, guys, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be recreating Timothy Dollar's makeup look. Yes, guys, let's get into the video. You don't have to do this, but like, why wouldn't you? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're joining us for the first time, it's your girl, Damilawi. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be recreating Tim Metodola's makeup look. Actually, the makeup is very long. It's like a year old now. <laughs> but I really, really like the makeup because it's like a very soft, natural makeup. It's a no foundation makeup. And I think it's very, very easy. I'm going to be watching my YouTube videos. And that way, I'm going to be able to like recreate the same look. But yes, guys, remember, I don't have all our products. I'm just going to use the products I have to achieve the same look she did. So guys, I, like she did already, I've done my skin prep. I used the primer. She used the primer, but I used the Omari Coat Primer. It's an hydrating face primer, and that's what I use. It's good. So next thing, I noticed she, she went in with a concealer. Just like she did, I have my four concealers right here, too. So well, the first one is Born This Way, it's a multi-use sculpting concealer and I'm using this one in the shade Maple. This other one is by Zikel, it's like a concealer and like a corrector. I'm using this one in Cafe. This one is by Nuban Beauty in My Skin Liquid Concealer and this one is in the shade 046. And the last one is Nuban also in the shade all for 2.5 so i have four, four concealers right here just like she has four concealers right here as you can see on my face i still have like dark spots compared to tammy well, let's see if this concealer is going to work for me hopefully it does at least able to cover up this the reason I have four different shades is because, especially us melanated girls, our skin is not all one color. She uses four different concealers because our face color is different and you can't expect to use just one concealer and be able to like conceal everything. You have to use four concealers, four different concealers to achieve that look. So let's listen to what Tammy says, okay? Just go to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mocha is like for here. You see, it's really not a lot, like just any tiny, tiny bits. So I noticed she used a concealer here, so I'm going to be using this one right here. She just used like a tiny bit right here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Hopefully it's not too much. <laughs> Harsh lines with the concealer, right? And then I might not even put a lot of cocoa, because I'm not like trying to do a full contour. I'm just trying to get... The next thing she kept some concealers right here and let's do that. Next she used another concealer for this downside. This is it. I think mine is way too much, but let's just go with the flow okay so she's going to use a brush to blend now let me get my brush i don't have nuts <laughs> but i do have this brush by vika bell i think it's like almost the same type of brush well i know she's like you dusted it off by hand first <laughs> okay let's go tap 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 Okay. Hey guys, so I'm um, done with the concealer base. Let's see what's next. And as you can see, what I like about these concealers is that they're just so easy to blend out. And I mean, this thing... I actually like the fact that it was able to cover up some of my dark spots. I haven't tried this technique before. Just using four different concealers I haven't, but like... I tried it because of Tammy and it really came out nice. I like the way it blended well on my skin. I was able to cover up some of my dark spots. 
and it's also very very lightweight so it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face which is very good has like acne scarring acne which you know i really suffered from i also like the fact that it has a natural finish because it just gives this very natural finish which you know i really suffered from before um if you are trying to cover up somewhere like if i went to where my mosquito bite is and i kept on tapping there the product is going to essentially like come off and since what she used next was a translucent powder so you know just like set the face a bit i don't have a translucent powder so i'm going to be using this mirac setting powder in the shade Cinnamon. This is like my exact shade. Anyone. This is a new one. I go through these like every few months because it's that good. So I'm going to get a setting brush. We don't use um, beauty blenders on this side. We do not. Why is Timu using a brush to set a powder? Well, that's what I'm going to be doing. Whatever Timu says. <laughs> so yes, let me get my brush. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using this brush to... You know just set the face and this powder so she dusted off the powder i beat and she just used the brush to set it up this one really fluffy and nice and then i use this like pat and roll technique that i actually learned from one of my favorite makeup artists mali i did a master class with her once i was like her model for it and i learned a lot um this is something i stole from mali thank you and so she kept the setting powder also on other areas of her face because she has oily skin i also have oily skin which is okay so she's just going to dab it i mean she just dabbed it in onto her face and onto the forehead you just tap it in you don't blink just tap it in <laughs> Yeah. so can you see it? i can see in the camera like where i have the oils like there's like highlight spots i just like tap and roll and even if i look a little bit matte i'm so oily that my shine will come back anyway so i do want to be quite so she didn't touch the contour she just stayed on the highlighted part of her face just like the under eyes the forehead areas like that she didn't touch the she didn't touch the contour side okay like it just looks more seamless than that like baking technique but i do bake sometimes you know so next thing she went in to use a mascara i'm going to be using this mega impact mascara it's very good and i just like it actually this makeup usually takes take me 10 minutes okay so like it's actually a very fast makeup and it's very easy to do so you guys can try it it's just like a very everyday and just do the same thing so i'm only going to be using mascara because that was what timmy did she's not she only uses lashes like twice a year like she said so yeah next we're going to be doing our brow since she uses a brow tint to just brush her eyebrows up i'm going to be using this maybelline tattoo studio it's a brow gel yeah and i'm just going to use it to brush my eyebrows up too our brows are microbladed my brow is not microbladed well let's see how it's going to how it's going to look so i'm just going to brush it up okay and now uh we get to the easiest brow routine you will ever ever see my brows are microbladed they're about two years old three almost it's coming up to three years i ago i microbladed them so they is like brush up just to get like a really natural eyebrow look but that has a little bit of um of like tint to it so this is all i do so i actually like the effect it's giving because it just gives like a very tinted look or effect rather and it's very nice it's just like a very simple natural bit kind of the next thing she did was to use a blush she used i'm going to be using this mac blush and she's just like using it round our cheeks also just nice to have a little bit of color like on our cheeks and i feel like when you find the right shade like for your skin it really does and make a difference like, like i feel blush. like that just woke me up and usually like when i'm taking pictures mm -hmm. i'll put even more because it doesn't show up as well on camera so like looking in my mirror i have like a very rosy cheek right now but on camera you might see it a bit less so for the sake of this video, I'm going to overdo it. 
a little bit. And can you see how I apply it just across my entire face? Sometimes I even put it like on my lids and on my forehead. I just use it for kind of a color across my entire face. Because guess what? My everyday makeup does not include highlights. Like I don't like... Then she goes back to our cheeks. So she didn't use a powder for the everyday highlights. It was just a blush. Which I think is nice. It's, it's looking different. It's good. So we are at the last step now and we are going to be doing the lips. She only uses like a brown lip liner and she uses a blush on top and that's all. So for my lips, I'm going to be using this NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil in the shade. I don't know the shade. Actually, I don't know. And the shade SPL. It's zero to brown and I'm also going to be using this DV's pencil so I'm just going to use the two to just outline my lips eyeliner so I'm just gonna put this on my top lip is a lot more pigmented we're not going to do too much because we want it to look like a natural lip color so I'm just going to make more of the top shade just a little bit darker better than my bottom lip so I probably put a bit more top lip okay i think that's good again we wanted to look like a natural lip color so for gloss i'm going to be using this nk makeup gloss it's more like a minty type of gloss which is a brush to apply it pretty much like see-through so as you can see just very subtle very subtle it just gives you like a nice natural sheen so the next thing she did was to set her face with a matte setting spray I have this silhouette setting spray from Mismetics. It's matte, it's a matte finish. All over. Mm. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of this video. Do I like this look? Yes, I love this look. This is something I'm going to try again. Yes, definitely, because I really like the natural finish of the look. It came out very, very nice, and this makeup doesn't even take any time. I bet this is just like a makeup that you just use to just enhance your features because this is just concealer. She didn't really do anything much, and it came out very nice. So, yes, guys, I love this Tammy's natural makeup everyday look, and yeah i'm going to be trying to again i'm sure you all can also do it it's not hard it's just very easy so yes guys make sure you recreate the videos from this look and let me know what you all think about this look too also down below in the comments and thank you guys very much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe also let me know the stylish makeup you want me to recreate next down below thank you guys i love you all